I want to teach you how to build a six figure online coaching or online service based business in the least complicated, least intimidating way possible. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily. If it's your first time here, I'm a certified health coach and a full-time business mentor. And this is gonna be a fun training because so many coaches have the goal of making 5K months, 10K months, whatever it may be. I find the numbers to all be a bit arbitrary when it comes down to it. But making six figures as an entrepreneur is this really significant milestone because in the traditional career path setting where you have a job, you're employed by someone else, whatever, like making six figures as your salary is a really big deal. And in a lot of industries, it's like not even an option. It's just not something you can achieve. But in entrepreneurship, there's on the one hand, this culture of like, you can make as much money as you want the sky is the limit, which is true. But then on the other hand, there's like, but you're fully in charge of how much money you're going to make. And it's like this feast or famine type of mentality. And I just don't believe that it has to be that way. So I'm going to be sharing with you a little bit about my story, um, achieving financial milestones as an entrepreneur and a few tangible things you need to be doing in your business that will elevate you to the type of business owner who can achieve a six figure plus income. Before we dive into the meat of the video, I did wanna pause and do our quick service spotlight, which if you're not interested in learning about how I can directly offer you some assistance in one way or another with growing your own business venture, you can skip right on ahead. But if you wanna hear about an opportunity to learn from me to grow your income potential as an entrepreneur, I wanna share my course, Passive Income Bootcamp, with you guys today because it is going to be the difference maker for a lot of y'all who own a business and are looking to surpass your income limitations that you've had and you're wondering how you're going to do that because you feel like you can't work more you don't have much more mental energy to give so you're like what am i gonna do and i feel like it's not time to raise my prices yet you're gonna launch something that's sold passively you're gonna create passive income and passive income can be kind of hard to create because it's hard to know what you should create and then it's hard to know how to keep it selling so how do you market it with it still remaining passive so inside pib i teach you all of these things this course is so amazing. It's comprehensive from choosing a topic that'll be profitable, testing it to ensure that it will be profitable, then developing your creative plan to build the passive income offer, structure it out, and then to actually bring it onto the scene through a launch that can then be transitioned into evergreen marketing for truly passive income. So if that sounds interesting to you and you wanna learn more about building a passive income offer that can help your business thrive and really like exceed your income expectations. And it doesn't hurt that you can be making money while you're sleeping and or on vacation. Maybe you're on vacation sleeping and you're still making money. Who knows? <laughs> the passive income bootcamp has changed so many lives. I've had hundreds of purchases on this course and you can get your hands on it too for less than $80 USD in the description box down below. So check it out. So I'm going to say something that some people are going to find comforting and some people are like maybe getting get mad at me, but I don't really care. I don't think that achieving a six figure income as an entrepreneur is as complicated or as hard as people think that it is. I actually think that this six figure, so like a hundred thousand dollars, like let's call it for what it is, this a hundred thousand dollar plus figure has become intimidating because like I said, in normal jobs, it's like a really big deal to secure employment where you are making six figures or more. And we're meant to feel in like the traditional employment sense, like very privileged very lucky, blessed, like don't put a toe out of line type of vibe when you have that type of career. And a lot of us also feel like that type of income is reserved for like your engineer, your doctor, you know, et cetera. Like, you know, there's a lot of fields where you're not even pursuing that type of goal and it feels out of reach. And I actually think as an entrepreneur, you have such an opportunity to create more income than you ever thought would be possible for you. And $100,000 is just a simple breakdown of sales in your business. So I'm gonna go through with you a little bit of my journey before we get into the three tangible steps for how you can start elevating your own business to become a six-figure opportunity for you financially. So 
My journey to six figures was a little bit crazy because like many of you guys, I was like, that's crazy. Like not me. I couldn't make six figures in my business. I don't know why I thought that. I think that I had just looked at that number, $100,000 and been like, that's so massive, but I never actually looked at the number for what it is, which like I said, it's just a culmination of sales in your business. And when I started out in my business in 2019, I believe, I was, I started looking at the numbers and I was like, oh, okay, well, if I made, you know, this many sales of this offer, like I'd be making this much money. And that's like kind of close to hundred thousand dollars. And then what if I integrated like this other offer and then plugged this in and on and on and on and on. And it started to click in my head. Like this is just a math problem based on products that I'm in charge of developing. So I took that power in my own hands, took that into consideration and honestly blew by that goal within less than the first 12 months of starting my business. And I wouldn't even say my business was like off the rails, like thriving at that time or that I was doing anything crazy. I was just working out the math problem for what it was and then meeting myself where I needed to to get there. So with that in mind, these are the three areas of your business you need to be paying attention to if you want to also be working on that math problem that makes the $100,000 figure much less elusive. So if you're fresh on the scene as a business owner and you have your one-on-one -on -one offer developed and you've been selling it, but you kind of know you're due for a price raise, you haven't really like adjusted or transitioned things around since you've gotten feedback from your first clients, it's time to create your elevated product. And when I say that, I'm not just talking about your one-on-one -on -one offer because you will not reach your income goals if they are like significantly higher than where you're at currently just by selling a bunch of one-on-one -on -one coaching spots. You will run out of time in the day. You're literally gonna get locked jaw from talking so much. And trust me, I've tried and it ended up with me getting Botox in the jaw. So be careful because that shit's expensive. <laughs> So I'm not talking about one product. I'm talking about a product suite that is elevated to the degree of a six figure business. So what does that mean? An elevated product suite obviously contains products and services that are at the top, they're in the top echelon of the market. So they are high quality. The marketing is great. They are irresistible. They're catering to the exact needs of an ideal client transformation. This is not a video about program creation, but I do have those on my channel. I will link a few of them down below. You can also search for them yourself, of course. But it's not just your one-on-one -on -one offer. Like I was saying, you will talk yourself into the ground and just work yourself to the bone trying to just do a one-on-one -on -one offer to reach your six figure plus income goal. You need to have a product suite that contains passive income opportunities. If you miss my service spotlight, you can get a course that I have for less than $80 to learn how to build passive income. It needs to contain lower ticket offers for clients that are not yet ready to invest to such a high degree. You need to have payment plans, downsell options, and things that you're selling periodically with the highest sense of urgency. So building a product suite with a lot of like dynamic flow to it and where it all forms into a sales funnel that funnels people down to your highest ticket, highest income offer, that is the sweet spot. I also do have a video about sales funnels. If that is like confusing lingo, I will link that down below and somewhere up here. Okay, so once you've worked your way past your just initial product development, you're kind of like in an elevated space where you feel really good about what you're bringing to the table, then it comes time to focus on your marketing plan, which may be even more important than the, your services. You still need to have very high quality services for your clients and their customer experience needs to be 11 out of 10. But if your marketing plan is not on point, you will not have clients to work with. So step number one of a six figure marketing plan is you are constantly selling. This does not mean that you are pushing an agenda constantly, like very directly onto your audience and exhausting them. It means that you have goals, you know what's available currently for sale in your business and you are being the billboard. I'm literally about to, after I film this video, film a bunch of content for my TikTok on this topic because if you are not constantly selling your offers, people don't know they exist. But when I say that to people that they need to be con constantly selling and consistently selling, they're like, well, that feels so annoying. Like I feel so annoying to be constantly like talking about my offers like that. 
To which I say, it's not about constantly being in a launch. It's about giving people the next step. If you share value and people resonate, it's, hey, this is what I have available on that topic. If you want to invest in that area, you know you need help there. It's value-based, but you're not afraid to keep talking about what you have to offer because otherwise people don't know. And in sales, we always abide by this golden rule that people need to hear something seven plus times before they really even consider making a purchase. So do not expect that talking about an offer or an opportunity for a couple of days around a launch is going to make you the numbers financially that you need to see to create that six figure income. In that same vein, your marketing needs to be diversified. So I just recorded and posted a video all about email marketing. You guys go watch that again. I will link that up here. If you're just marketing on Instagram, you need to expand across platforms. You need to be on TikTok. Maybe you need to be on YouTube. I don't recommend that for everyone. It's kind of a lot of work. I just do it because I love you guys. You know the vibe. Um, but you need to expand across platforms. You need to have an email list going. You cannot just rely on one social media platform or you're going to be missing out on a huge chunk of your audience and you're not going to be staying innovative mentally when it comes to social media marketing. And you need to make sure that your marketing is good. Like you need to be making sure that you're using irresistible language, that your copywriting is great, that your visuals reflect the value you're trying to get across. Everything that you bring to the table needs to be just like a level up from what you're used to if you're trying to create a couple levels up of income for yourself. So make sure your marketing is on point. If that's an area you're struggling with, always feel free to reach out to me, but super important, you can have the best products in the world. And if somebody else with worse products is a better marketer, they're gonna get the client, which is an unfortunate but true reality. Okay, last on the list, we have a growth slash pivot plan. What I mean by that is you always, always, always need to stay innovative. And I've said this on the podcast a hundred times. I've already said it today in this video. You always have to stay like a couple steps ahead and you need to not get caught up in, okay, I'm gonna create a plan that works for my business and I'm just gonna repeat the same thing over and over again. I don't actually believe that that works. I think that once you see a level of success that you're looking for and then you wanna create more for yourself, it's gonna require uncomfortable changes and pivots that are new to you, just like they're new to your audience, and that freshness is going to bring you the success that you're looking for. Don't just expect that rinsing and repeating strategies over and over again is gonna bring you the results you want to see, or that just turning a blind eye to fresh marketing strategies, fresh trends online is going to get you anywhere. When it comes to growth and pivoting, being able to pivot is super important. For example, in my business this year alone, I've pivoted in so many areas and the opportunities that have become available to me that simply were not an option in the past are so abundant. Has it been easy? No. Has it taken a lot of time, effort, energy, like mental stimulation? Of course, but is it worth it? I absolutely believe so because for my business to grow and evolve, I have to consistently be growing and evolving. So this applies to strategies in your business. This applies to your own personal growth and development, your own maturity. Keep chasing better and elevation for yourself, for your business, and do not get stuck in your ways. All right, you guys, I hope this has shown you that creating six figures in your business does not have to be the craziest thing on earth. I know I didn't do like a specific sales breakdown in this video, but I actually kind of tend to avoid doing that because if I were to tell you, okay, if you have a program and it costs this much and you make this many sales and I do that whole thing, you're going to try to cookie cutter your own products and services to fit the specific numbers that I say. And that can be really detrimental if you haven't done the adequate market research in your own niche and in your own like demographic of ideal clients, you're not gonna wanna be using something cookie cutter because it might not, they might not be the cookie that fits. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Like I said, hopefully this shows you what's possible. If you're curious to talk more about your specific numbers, like what your offers cost right now, what you what, what your sales plan would need to be, what you might need to raise your prices to, anything like that, never be afraid to shoot me a DM. My information is right here. And don't forget you guys that I'm posting every single week on this channel for the podcast and my educational YouTube videos. So make sure you're subscribed and hit the notifications bell because the content is contenting. Like it is coming out, it's coming at you, it's coming fast and the notifications bell is going to make sure you don't miss anything even if you have to just click that little watch later or like save for later button well worth your time but thank you all for being here i believe in you so much go make that money believe in you the most talk to you guys soon love y'all